In today's video I'm going to try to match four stock photos into one montage, okay? So here are my four stock photos. I get them from unsplash.com using this built-in stock panel. So let's start with the first one. Scale it up. Reposition using move tool. Now I can just right click on the layer and rasterize and trim. With that done, I can show the next layer, scale it up, somewhere like this, and again, right click, rasterize and trim. I will try to blend them together to create a background. I think I need to swap the order on my layer panel. So just drag this below. Now I'm going to blend the sky. I will create a mask and I'm going to use gradient. So this layer will be invisible in the black part of the gradient and visible in the white part of the gradient. So it's like fading away. Okay, I group these two layers. Now I can move to adjustment panel. Make it darker using levels. Okay, and now saturation. Let's desaturate a little bit, change the hue and also the light, make it darker. Okay. As you can see, this adjustment is just as normal layer, so I can also add a mask to this adjustment layer. If I paint with the brush, it will mask this adjustment, so it will not be on the whole picture. So I'm using the dark brush to make a mask for adjustment, and now I'm going to match all of my backgrounds layer into one pixel layer. So I can delete all of that. Now I got this one picture here. Okay, let's move to the next one. So it will be really easy, just moon. We don't need to cut it out from the background. We can use the blending mode that will always only keep the light pixel and we will not see the dark black background. So we got blending mode, change to add and now reduce some opacity on 70% reposition like this. I will add a mask. I will hide part of this moon over here using dark colors to hide stuff in the mask mode. As you may remember, when you're masking something, black means hidden and white is unhidden. So, our last photo. Let's position this gentleman in the middle. You can use this alignment panel. Now I need to right click on the layer I will rasterize and trim. Let's use selection tool. I will copy and paste him to the new layer. So I can delete this extra background quickly. Okay, so I still need to delete the background around him somehow. Let's try background eraser tool. I'm going to make a duplicate just in case I mess up. Okay, so this is background eraser, so it should keep the main object intact and only erase the background. Let's give it a go. Nope, not really. So the background is not in one color, so it will be really hard to erase it using this tool. I'm going to undo using Command Z and I will 
try again with this quick selection tool. So let's select the guy. Now I need to deselect part of the background like this. And here. Zoom in using Command Plus shortcut or Control Plus on Windows machine. Okay, I am ready to click Refine. So this Refine button open this pop-up so I can change preview to transparency. Looks good. I will export this to new layer. So change output to new layer and click apply. Here is my new layer without background. Now I'm going to add some layer effect. Let's give him out glow. If you need more than 100, you just can type it in here. The slider will end on 100, but this doesn't mean it's, you cannot use the higher value. Change to overlay, change color, and some contrast. 500, okay, big glow and less intense, like this. Okay. Let's create a new, totally new layer here, pixel layer, blank layer, and now I can use gradient on it, change to radio. I will adjust colors. I will keep white and change this black color to dark blue with noise on it. So we got this texture. Now I can blend it using maybe overlay or soft light. Overlay with reduce opacity. Okay, so this is like this spotlight make the middle of the picture brighter but the edge darker. Okay. I think I, I will create one more layer and I will play with my brush and add some colors on the top. So I'll open this color wheel, pick the brush tool, I'm using very soft brush, 0% hard, so this is 100% soft. I can just tap here and there with this huge brush, adding some colors to my picture. Now I will change blending mode and I'm going to experiment here. You can just hover your mouse above the blending mode and you will see the preview result on your picture. So this is really handy, you don't need to click them and check everything. You just can hover your mouse like this. Too much. Let's reduce opacity. Okay. So this is my montage. I was able to merge four photos into one picture using Affinity Photo. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you in the next tutorial.